Become a channel member to gain early access to all 5M scripting videos. Hey guys, it's Alpha, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to reduce lag on your 5M server so that when you've got a bunch of people connected to it, they will have less texture loss, less desync, and lots of things like that. So there's many ways that you can reduce server lag. One of them is optimizing your scripts. So there's less threads running, less server-sided scripts running. You can reduce client-sided scripts, but client is on the player's computer, not the server. But if you can optimize that, why not? The method that I'm going to show you today is going to be removing or reducing, it's up to you, the amount of AI and traffic that are in your server. So we're going to go to our resources directory. And we're just going to copy and paste the template resource as we usually do. And then we'll call this one reduce AI. And in here, we can get rid of the server.lua. We just need the client.lua and the FX manifest. So if we head into the FX manifest, we'll get rid of the files and server scripts. And then in client scripts, we can just add client.lua like so. And then in the template resource, we'll just add reduce number of ai there we go and then if we open the client.lua we're going to create a thread so a thread is something that runs indefinitely basically and then it can run you can either have it run every tick or every couple seconds or however often you need it to run basically uh, so we're going to do citizen.create thread uh, do note that with threads the more you have running the more it's going to impact the performance but this thread is running on the client side not the server side so it's less of an issue in terms of the server performance and then we're going to do while true do inside of the thread not description do do there we go and then we'll just add an end to that while script or that while loop and then inside of this we'll do citizen dot wait you can just do wait, you don't need to do citizen.wait, it's the same thing. And then we're going to do zero. And then basically what this does is it's going to allow this thread to run every tick, basically. And then what we're going to do is set traffic density. And then we can have a, this could be anywhere from 0.0, .0 to zero point uh, to one point zero basically so one point zero is maximum zero point zero is is none basically so I'm gonna set it at zero point zero just to remove all traffic and I'm also gonna do set ped density as zero point zero as well because I just want to remove all AI to get maximum performance boost basically um, and then we're just gonna create the functions for set traffic density and set ped density so we're just gonna do function set traffic density and then we'll put density as the parameter and then we'll just add an end and then here we're going to do set parked vehicle density multiplier this frame and we'll set that as density so and then we'll do set vehicle density multiplier this frame and we'll set this as density as well so and then we're also going to do set random vehicle density multiplier this frame basically writing whole sentences here <laughs> And then we'll set that as density as well. Um, and then that is the set traffic density function done. Just make sure that's all typed correctly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to do the function for set ped density. And then this will also have the density parameter. And then in here, we're going to do set ped density multiplier this frame and we'll set this to density as well and then we'll do set scenario head density multiplier 
this frame. I'll set this to density as well, like so. And then that, just make sure that's all typed correctly as well. Yep, it looks good to me. And that should be everything for this script. So basically what this is going to do when this is running, it will run on our client's computer and then anywhere near around the, the, the client that's loaded or, or rendered, it will just basically set all of the traffic and pedestrians, like AI ones, just to, to disappear basically. If I wanted this to be half of what it usually is, I'd put it to 0 0.5 on both of these. But since I want to obviously delete all AIs, other than certain exceptions where they are overruled and spawn in anyway, this for like 99% of AIs, this should work. So what I'm going to do now is go to my resources.cfg and then just ensure reduce slash AI. And that should ensure that the script runs. And before we test that script, I'd also like to walk through another way of reducing server lag. So if you are getting into 5M development, you may be inclined to go to the 5M forums and plug and play a bunch of resources that you can download off there. And I'm not saying you can't do that. By all means, go for it. It's a lot of fun to see what the community's created and use it in your own server. An issue with that is some of them aren't very well optimized. But for the ones that are, they still do obviously impact performance minutely. But then the more the more resources that you add, the more it's going to impact your server performance. So some people think, oh, I'm going to add 300 resources to my server. And yeah, that's great. You'll have a lot of content and a lot of you know stuff for players to do. But it does greatly impact your server's performance having that many resources. So when you're building your server, try and maintain a lower resource count just to ensure that the server performance stays healthy. So now we're going to start up a server and boot up 5M and see if this script's working. So as we can see on here, it has started the resource, reduce AI, and then we'll just boot up the server and try it out. So here we are, now we're in the server, and we can see already that there's no AIs around here, nor you'd see a bunch of pedestrians on the beach and whatever. If we head towards the road, we'll be able to check for traffic. As you can see here, there are no vehicles parked where there normally would be. And obviously having a lot of vehicles spawned in will impact the service performance. And on the roads, there are absolutely no vehicles to be seen. Obviously, if you do want AIs to be still present in your server, you can set it to 0 0.5, for example. So there still are AIs, it'll just be less. But if you're planning on having a lot of players, then obviously you won't really need AIs as you'll have a lot of layer traffic on the roads anyway. Another thing that you can do is by pressing F8 and then going to overlays at the top and then performance and draw performance. That will now show your FPS, ping, PL, CPU, GPU, GPU temperature and VRAM usage. If you if you are trying to really maximize the efficiency and the optimization of the server, these are some quite useful tools that you can use to do so. That's everything for today's video. As always, if you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment share with your friends, and of course, if you need support, join our community support discord linked at the top of the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.